Hello everyone, Chaos here, and welcome to another old school RuneScape video. Today, the Easy Mauritania Diary. For this set of tasks, you can expect to visit these locations. Feel free to pause if you would like to screenshot this map. For the level of requirements, you need 12 cooking, 15 crafting, 23 farming, or 47 if you are an Iron Man, 15 slayer, and 20 combat. For the item requirements, you need a chisel, ghost speak amulet, Earmuffs, any snail shell, thin snail, a cow hide and a few coins, a bronze spear, a hay sack, a watermelon, bone meal and a bucket of slime, and finally a wolf bane. I also recommend a Morton teleport scroll. For the quest requirements, you need to have completed Nature Spirit. You also need partial completion of Ghost Ahoy. Remember to bring some method of transportation to make this slightly faster. So, once you have everything ready, let's jump into the tasks. Meet Swampladix, my Mauritania locked ultimate Iron Man in which we are going to complete the Mauritania Diary. Starting off with the easy ones, we are going to kill one of these little snails and we are going to craft their, what, shell into a little hat, wear it and that is going to be the end of this one. Next, go slightly north uh, from the starting location, go to nature's grotto and just pray to recover some, in, uh, some <laughs> I was gonna say some nature points, some prayer points in the little tree or the fountain, whatever you want to call it. Next, we are going to enter Mortmeyer Swamp. This one is super easy. You just need to enter and that's going to be pretty much it. Next, go slightly northwest and we are going to kill one of these ghouls or ghouls. I don't know how to pronounce it in English. I think it's ghoul, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, they are very easy and that's going to be it. Just uh, go ahead and gloss over your dead opponent. Next, we are going to run all the way north to the Slayer Tower and this is a very annoying run because the Banshees are all the way to the what is it, southeast, and you need to run all the way around. Uh, I don't think the um, you know, shortcuts help that much, but still, it's kind of an annoying thing to do. Once you kill one, that is going to be the end of a task number five, and next we are going to kill a werewolf in its human form using a wolf bane dagger. Remember, this is the quest you get from, what is it, Priest in Peril, I believe, and as long as you kill one without it transforming into the werewolf form, that is going to be pretty much it. So, for the next one, we are going to uh, Sabbath, in which we are going to tan something. It doesn't really need to be anything special, just go ahead and grab a cow leather and go ahead and spend two coins, and that is going to be pretty much it. I think I spent five, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, all you need to do, even though I repeat it pretty much. But next, we are going to um, the north, uh, the northeast part of the town, and we are going to get a Slayer task from Mas Maskna. You guys know RuneScape pronunciations aren't really my thing. <laughs> but we are going to run east in order to place a Scarecrow in the Mauritania Flower Patch, and go ahead and use a Hay Sack in a Bronze Spear, and then use a Watermelon into the resulting product to have a Scarecrow, and that is going to put your... <clears throat> or I guess that is going to make a Scarecrow, and you place it in the Flower Patch. Next, we are going to offer some bone meal at the Ectofunctus. And for this, I am going to show you the full process in case you can't access the store in which you can buy the slime, I think. I think you can buy it, right? But if not, here is the process. You go all the way down to this little pit, go ahead and use your bucket in the slime, and then go all the way up once again, and use your bones in this little grinder machine. And once you have those two items, you are going to offer them to the Ectofunctus. And next, we, uh, go ahead and talk to the Ghost Disciple in order to get your Ecto tokens. These don't really serve that much of a purpose until you do some quests or you have the Bone Crusher, but, you know, it's best to get them right now. And finally, we are going to cook a Thin Snail here at Port Fosmatis, and that is going to be the end of the Mauritania Easy Tasks. Once done, go to the NPC named Le Saber, slightly west of Canifus. You will obtain the Mauritania Legs 1, which provide two daily teleports to the slime pit below the Ectofunctus. You will also obtain a lamp worth the 2500 experience, and finally, all of these other benefits shown on screen. And that's pretty much it. If this video was useful in any way, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more guides. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon.